A major advantage that Revit has over AutoCAD is the graphic override control. In this video, we're going to show you how to use one of the most common graphics override tools in Revit. Instead of having to control things one by one, line by line, Revit allows you to select things by categories, filters, and many other different ways. The way that we want to discuss today is using the visibility graphics overrides. This is something that you can do per view, and it helps you completely streamline your workflow and saves you tons of time. If you want to enact this, go into the view that you're trying to modify. Over here on the left-hand side, visibility graphics overrides located in the properties dialog box. Click edit. You can also simply click V, G on your keyboard, and that will bring you to the same dialog box. Within here, you'll see a lot of different tabs up at the top. To start with, we'll go to model categories. This first checkbox here, if we uncheck it, show model categories in this view, and you click apply, you'll notice that all the model categories, so all the physical architectural elements are now gone. So we just told Revit to turn off all of the physical 3D model stuff in this view. To do a more granular approach to this, you can also look at the different categories here. The categories are something that Revit has default, and it's really everything that you can actually 3D model within Revit's uh, model space. So say if we came down here and we wanted to hide all the walls in the view, we simply click uncheck at the walls. All the walls within the view are now gone. Visibility graphics has a lot more power than just turning things on and off. You can also control graphically how things look. So for example, here you can see projection surface. So that's everything that you're seeing within the view that's not being cut in the section or plan view. And then there's also these cut categories. So the subcategories within that are lines, patterns, and transparency for the projection surfaces. And then the cut has lines and patterns. Uh, you can also see that we have a halftone option. So essentially what that means is it will turn everything gray and that's controlled within the manage tab, additional settings, halftone. You can control how bright, light, or dark that those objects are. And then detail level. Detail level is set here individually by category, coarse, medium, fine. And that's really an override. Generally, you set that in per view down here where it says detail level, coarse, medium, fine. So now if we come back down and let's say we wanted to show the line weight of this wall cut thicker under lines, click override, weight, and then choose a number that's higher than what you wanted to see. Click OK and apply. Now you notice these lines are thicker because we just override them. And you'll see now, instead of having a blank box, there's actually something infilled here. So that's the thicker line. You can also do this with the color. And also the pattern type. Now say you want to get rid of these. All you have to do is click Clear Overrides, click OK and it will get reset back to the default graphic setting that it was at. These settings can be modified for almost every category within Revit. The only limitation is when you see this grayed out box here, that essentially means that you can't make an adjustment for that category and specifically which column that you're looking at. The visibility graphics override, it also has a search feature. So you can see here, it quickly just breaks down everything and gives you only the thing that you're searching for, which can be really helpful if you have a lot of subcategories or you just want to find something quickly. You'll also notice here, filter list. Right now we're showing every single category group within Revit but you can really specify this to the only the things that you are working on. So you can see it has architecture, structure, mechanical, electrical, piping, and infrastructure. The next tab at the top is the annotation categories. It works very similar to the model categories. The only difference is it's we're looking at the annotations, so the 2D documentation elements instead of the 3D modeled elements. So if we uncheck this, show annotation categories in this view and click apply, you'll notice all the annotation elements are now hidden. Similarly, you can also search and filter the list. And one thing to note, each one is a category, but if you click this plus, you'll see that there's subcategories underneath each, which is common amongst all these different tabs. Going to the next tab, we have analytical model categories. These work very similar to the two previous tabs, but for analytical model elements, there are no cut overrides, just the projection surface, halftone, and detail level. You can also change the visibility on or off. For imported categories, this is typical to see AutoCAD drawings, so your DWGs that you have imported are linked in. This is really great because you can actually control the layers within here. So you can see I imported this level three plan here. And then let's zoom in on this section here. Let's go back to our visibility graphics overrides, imported categories. So if we look here, those are the room tag layers. So if we uncheck that, it's gonna hide it, click apply. And you can also override the lines. So if you click here and then, for example, if we wanted to see this in black, click apply. And then now everything on that layer is shown in black, not in yellow. Similarly, you can change the pattern and the weight of an object within this, and then that'll be controlled per view. You also have the opportunity to, to modify patterns if that applies, and then also half time. Moving on to the filters tab, we have a full video on how to use filters, but to give a brief summary, they work very similar to the model and annotation categories. It's just a way to get more granular. So you're not selecting the entire category. You're really selecting things based on certain filters that you're giving it. You can see here that you can turn things on and off. You can completely disable the filter, and then you have the same features that are present in the model categories. Simply edit and add filters by going to the edit new. Select, you can modify your filters here, and then you can add them by coming here and clicking OK. So if you want to learn more about view filters, check out Bim Depot's view filter video. The next tab, Revit Links. So this allows you to control models that are linked into your main model. I level visibility, so you can check and uncheck each one. 
And that essentially shows or doesn't show that entire linked model in this view. So to sample this, we can go to the structural model, uncheck it and click apply. And you'll notice that the column here totally disappeared. And then also the concrete walls around the elevator shaft are no longer visible. You can also choose to half tone or underlay the model. So you see that'll be a gray version with a half tone. And then underlay, essentially it puts it underneath all your modeled elements and acts as almost just a background. Whereas if you don't have underlay on, it's going to act as another model element within your model space. The last column here, display settings. You'll notice each one says by host view. So if you wanna modify the way that something is looking within the linked model, but not necessarily how it's looking in both the linked model and your main model, you can click by host view. Here you'll notice several tabs that should look familiar. Model categories similar to the visibility graphics overrides, annotation categories, and so on. You'll notice all of this is grayed out right now. And the reason for that, if we go back to basics, you'll see by host view. Go ahead and click by linked view. This will adopt these settings from the linked view. And then if you click on custom, then you can completely customize this in whatever way that you want. And you have all of those controls just like you had with the visibility graphics overrides. And go back to model categories, you'll notice that it's still gray. At the top here, model categories, it's still by host view. So if we do the drop down and click custom, then you'll be able to override everything as if it were just in the visibility graphics overrides. But remember, this is just going to affect the linked model. It's not going to affect anything else, just this linked model. So you'll notice I just changed the walls to be halftone, and now these concrete walls are grayed out. All of the same rules apply for annotation, analytical, and import categories as they did for visibility graphics overrides. If we come back to the basics tab, you'll notice a series of different options here. So linked view, view filters. So you can turn off all view filters that are applied in that view. It won't affect the linked model. View range, phase, phase filters, detail level, discipline, color fill, object styles, and nested links. The last tab within visibility graphics overrides is design options. We have another video on design options coming, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Within here, if you are interested in seeing a specific design option that isn't the default, then you can sort of force it for that view. This is really helpful if you have multiple design options and you want to be able to show that on several different views or several different sheets, especially for a client presentation or just to show your colleagues, this is a good way to do it. You'll see here design option set and then design option automatic. That's just going to give you the default design option. Do the drop down, and then you'll have the option to deviate from the primary and then that will force that design option to show in this view. You can also show the primary and that will stick with this option even if you make another design option in the primary. So this is sort of just a safeguard against using automatic in the event that you change the primary design option.